Hello, Biotube. Five dollars for fifty dollars worth of Transformers. Don't know why covering up the alt mode from the box was a good idea. Probably part of the reason why this didn't sell well. If somebody doesn't know what they're getting in the box, they probably won't buy the item. After all, the alt mode is half the toy, more than half if you're a triple changer like Perceptor. And of course, they use the same artwork as the retro box. Though the retro box has a better image of the artwork, despite the artwork being based on the Studio Series toy. For some reason, Perceptor towers over Wheeljack, which is kind of funny. I don't have any Studio Series figures from the Bumblebee movie to scale with Wheeljack, but I do have Bumblebee. So you can tell that he is bigger than a core class. Obviously the obvious comparison will be Perceptor to Perceptor. Both of these in the deco are pretty close because they're both trying to emulate the deco of the cartoon, as they are both toys themed around the 86 movie. Obviously, despite the fact that both Perceptors have quite a bit of jointage, the modern all the more so. Strangely, without swivels in the wrists. But I guess you can't have everything. I will say from the back, the original does look better, but the new one doesn't look so bad. Save for the obvious hole in his back, which you can slightly cover with his gun, and you can store his shoulder cannon on his back too. It actually comes this way in box. And this is what he looks like with all his weaponry on his back. But an even neater trick is changing out his head for the microscope, giving him a very shockwave or world look to him. Neither of them have alt modes that are 100% accurate. However, given the inconsistencies of the G1 cartoon, you could say the original toy is still more accurate, but that doesn't mean the Studio Series alt mode is completely inaccurate either. One thing I don't like is the removal of the tech bits. I get that they're not cartoon accurate and they're not essential to getting across the idea of a telescope. In fact, the lack of them might make the telescope more accurate. But it does give some essential Microman detailing. But I get that the Studio Series 86 was doing its own thing, trying to be accurate to the cartoon as much as it can. They also, of course, both have tank modes. Perceptors is designed for core class figures, particularly ones on the smaller side, while the original is meant to handle 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joes and Micromen. And this really gets to the different target audiences of Studio Series and Retro. If you're into those nostalgic 80s toys, obviously you want to go with the Retro. But if you want something that works with the modern toys and is as accurate as it can be to the original cartoon, then Studio Series 86 is the line for you. Speaking of different dimensions of play, this guy looks like he stepped out of a different dimension. One of the many different takes of Wheeljack from the movies. This one has like two seconds of screen time. But hey, that scene was so G1 that fans couldn't care what else was in that movie. Honestly, just not a movie I liked, but this is an interesting take, I guess, on Wheeljack. The Bumblebee movie and Rise of the Beast aesthetic really reminds me of Bionicle 2016, with some areas being very smooth and simple, and others being very greebly. Bit of a daring aesthetic, I think I prefer the G1 and the Bayverse aesthetics to this, but it's not really bad, it just means that it's going to have a complicated transformation. Then we get the Space Stratos, which has a very concerning amount of clear plastic, and I have to say it does look a little bit like G1 Wheeljack. Just like the robot mode does. And I guess that's the idea of these bumblebee guys. I do wonder what's going on with the top. I guess that gray spot really just is something. The greebling really leans to the back, which ultimately just is a big hole. And of course you have weapon storage on the top. And I have to say, it really is not a bad ult mode. It's kind of just okay. And of course he has weapon storage on his back as well. And of course he has standard deluxe articulation, which unfortunately makes him ever so slightly less articulated than Perceptor. But still, he's a good figure, and if you're looking to collect characters from that scene, I guess you have to get him. He's a charming little fellow. Imagine being. Links below.